Could the Tyrannosaurus rex, which has been pictured for a long time as a scaly giant, have actually been covered with feathers? New discoveries show that this dangerous predator might have had feathers, which goes against what we usually think about dinosaurs. What if our perception of the T-Rex has been wrong all along? Today, we're going to look into one of the most interesting questions in paleontology. Did the powerful Tyrannosaurus rex, who ruled the world a long time ago, really have feathers? This study questions long-held beliefs and shows how our ideas about these huge animals are changing over time. Come along with us as we look at the facts, theories, and effects of the T-Rex feathers argument. If you are a dinosaur lover like me and want to know in-depth information about T-Rex, don't worry because we are making a whole series about T-Rex that gives you the most information you need to know about this amazing animal. This video is also part of the T-Rex series. You might lose a lot of information if you don't subscribe to my channel yet. Subscribe now because I'll give you the link to the T-Rex playlist at the end of this video. You can open it and watch the entire series. Now let's explore the fascinating debate surrounding T-Rex feathers. Let us begin with the background of evolution. There is an interesting genetic link between dinosaurs and birds that has changed how we think about both groups. Scientists now know that birds are straight descendants of theropod dinosaurs, which include well-known dinosaurs like Velociraptor, and yes, Tyrannosaurus rex. Theropods, a diverse group of dinosaurs that walked on two legs and had hollow bones, three-toed arms, and sharp teeth, are a key part of the evolutionary link between dinosaurs and birds. They have many bird-like traits like wishbones, fused clavicles, a furcula wishbone, and a light frame that helps them move quickly and live a predatory lifestyle. Fossils of theropods with feathers like Velociraptor and Microraptor add to the proof that feathers evolved in this group a long time before birds did. This evolutionary path goes against the idea that dinosaurs were big, scaly reptiles. Instead, it shows how they changed quickly and evolved into the bird-like species we see today. Let's talk about the discoveries of fossils now. With the discovery of feathers in dinosaur fossils, especially those of the Tyrannosaurus rex, our knowledge of these animals has changed forever. In paleontology, the finding of Eudirenus, a big Tyrannosaur from China's early Cretaceous period, was a big step forward. When compared to how Tyrannosaurus rex is usually pictured, Eudirenus fossils clearly showed that it had feathers. This discovery challenges the common idea that theropod dinosaurs were all meat-eaters and shows that even the biggest ones may have had feathers. Finding amazing fossils from winged dinosaurs in northeastern China's Liaoning province is a must. Carboniferous and Cretaceous remains from groups of animals like Sinosauropteryx and Microraptor. Some dinosaurs, like Sinosauropteryx, were found with feathers that had been kept. This showed that feathered structures were common in theropods. In addition to Eudoranus and the Leoning, other remains of feathered dinosaurs have helped us learn more about dinosaur feathers. The Chinese Anchiornis and the Mongolian Velociraptor are two examples. Feathers in these fossils range from simple filaments to more complicated structures showing how different feathered dinosaurs were during the Mesozoic period. In addition to showing that dinosaurs and birds evolved together, these findings question the idea that dinosaurs were only scaly reptiles. Now, let me give you the scientific evidence. Several pieces of scientific evidence support the idea that feathers have helped us learn a lot about Tyrannosaurus rex. Most of the time, carbonization or leaving impressions in fine-grained sedimentary rock keeps feathers in fossils. In some rare cases, like in amber, the real organic matter of feathers can be kept. Fossilized feathers often show up as imprints or carbon films, which tell us a lot about how they were structured and where they were found on dinosaurs. Recent finds of the remains of Tyrannosaurus rex have shown skin impressions that point to a complex integument. The scales and feathers that can be seen on some parts of the body and the scales and feathers that can be seen on other parts show that the covering was not uniformly scaled. This means that different parts of the T-Rex's body may have had both scales and wings. Molecular biology and genetics have made it easier to understand how feathers evolved. Scientists have found genes that are involved in feather growth that are found in both dinosaurs and birds today. The molecular study of fossils has also helped us understand the genetic basis of feather diversity and evolution, showing a link between feathered dinosaurs like theropods and their bird-like descendants. This scientific proof not only helps us learn more about feathered dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex, but it also shows that dinosaurs that were not birds evolved in the same way that birds do today. Let's talk about the feathers versus scales debate. Paleontologists and experts are very interested in and divided on the issue of whether Tyrannosaurus rex had feathers or scales. New fossil finds, mostly in Liaoning, China, have made it clear that theropod dinosaurs closely linked to T. rex had feathers. There is clear proof of filamentous feathers in fossils like Eudirenus, a tyrannosaur from the early Cretaceous, 
Based on these results, feathers may have covered a lot of theropods, like T-Rex, maybe even up to 70% of their bodies. Many people who disagree with this point of view point out that some T-Rex fossils have scales on them. Some fossilized T-Rex skin, especially from the belly and some parts of the tail, shows scales instead of feathers. This has led some experts to suggest that the T-Rex might have a mix of scales and feathers, with feathers being more common in some parts of the body and scales in others. Paleontologists have different opinions on the matter. People who believe the T-Rex had feathers say that the feathers could have kept the dinosaur warm or been used for show, just like feathers do in birds today. They also said a, that the lack of feather imprints in some fossils may be due to biases in the way they were preserved. Supporters of a scaly T-Rex, on the other hand, stress how important it is to have clear fossil evidence of scales and suggest that feathers may have only been present in juveniles or in certain environmental conditions. A paleontologist at Carthage College named Dr. Thomas Kerr supports the idea that T-Rex had feathers on most of its body, saying that feathers on T-Rex could have contributed to thermoregulation and display. The discovery of scales on T-Rex skin impressions suggests a more reptilian integument, says Dr. Mary Schweitzer from North Carolina State University. This ongoing argument shows how hard it is to figure out how extinct animals like Tyrannosaurus rex looked. It also shows how much more study and discovery is needed to solve this interesting paleontological mystery. People used to think that only birds had feathers, but now they're a very interesting part of studying how dinosaurs evolved, especially theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex. Feathers can be used for more than just looks, they can also be useful in nature and help animals survive. Theropod dinosaurs, like T-Rex, probably use their feathers for more than one thing. Feathers are great at keeping heat in, which helps keep body temperature stable. This is very important for animals that live in different climates and settings because it lets them keep their body heat in or cool down as needed. Feathers can be a big part of how animals communicate and show off. T-Rex may have used bright colors and complex feather patterns to show off their sexuality or show who's in charge in their social order. Some feathers, especially those with colors or designs that blend in with their surroundings, might have helped them hide. This would have helped them catch or get away from dangerous animals. Looking at modern birds can teach us a lot about how feathers might have worked in dinosaurs like the T-Rex. Birds need feathers to keep their bodies at the right temperature to stay alive in a variety of settings. Many bird species show off their feathers in fancy ways during courtship routines or territorial displays. Birds change the colors and patterns of their feathers to fit in with their surroundings and stay safe from predators. Because theropod dinosaurs like T-Rex had feathers, it's possible that these functions existed in some form during the Mesozoic period. By learning about how these ancient animals used feathers, we can better understand how complicated their behaviors were and how they adapted to their environments. In dinosaurs like the T-Rex, feathers were not just for looks, they were also very important for keeping warm, showing off and hiding just like feathers are in birds today. The fact that dinosaurs and birds evolved together in this way makes their biology even more interesting and helps us learn more about the different ways they survived. Long-lasting arguments about whether Tyrannosaurus rex and other dinosaurs had feathers or scales have had huge effects on many areas of paleontology, changing how we think about dinosaur behavior, ecology, and evolutionary connections. The feathered T-Rex theory has upended common ideas about how dinosaurs and birds evolved. Scientists are rethinking the timeline and pathways of evolution that led to the development of birds after finding evidence that feathers were more common in theropod dinosaurs, like T-Rex. What do we think about T-Rex's biological role changes? It depends on whether it has feathers or scales. Feathered dinosaurs may have had different ways of controlling their body temperature and different habits than their scaly evolutionary relatives. As a result of this discussion, scientists are looking into how the T-Rex's feathered skin might have affected its interactions with its surroundings, prey, and rivals. Given that T-Rex had feathers, it's possible that it had complicated behaviors related to showing off, communicating, and social structure. According to this theory, paleontologists should look into these issues more and think about how T-Rex's feathered skin might have affected its daily actions and contacts. If T-Rex really did have feathers, it raises questions about how its species made decisions about social matters. Feathers may have helped individuals show who was in charge, attract mates, or even keep the group together, similar to how birds do today. Animals with feathers would have been able to control their body temperature differently than animals with scales. Insights into its evolutionary success in different settings would be gained from looking at how this adaptation affects its habitat preferences, activity patterns, and energy expenditure. Public interest in the argument over T-Rex appearance is high, and it affects how dinosaurs are portrayed in popular culture. It shows how constantly changing scientific research is and calls for thoughtful consideration of how data affects our understanding of life in the past. 
The feathered versus scaly debate about Tyrannosaurus rex goes beyond how it looks. Our knowledge of dinosaur behavior and ecology grows thanks to this discovery, which also opens up new study areas in the field of paleontology. Researchers are still learning more about the T-Rex's complex world and its evolutionary legacy by looking into these consequences. We've looked into the interesting discussion about Tyrannosaurus rex and the idea that it might have had feathers on its body. Let's go over the main points and facts that have helped us understand. We've looked at some interesting fossil finds like the Uteranus in China and skin impressions on T-Rex fossils that show these huge predators had feathers on their bodies. We looked at how feathers are preserved in fossils and the molecular and genetic data that shows feathers evolved in dinosaurs. People who want the T-Rex to have feathers and people who want it to have scales are still arguing, and we've talked about it with paleontologists from both sides. Although the discussion is still going on, most scientists agree that at least some Tyrannosaurs, like the T-Rex, may have had feathers. This theory goes against what we usually think about dinosaurs and makes us think again about how they looked and behaved. It's now your turn to say something, should there be feathers or not? What do you think about how Tyrannosaurus rex looks? Does the thought of a winged T-Rex change how you think about these huge prehistoric animals? Feel free to leave your ideas and feelings in the space below. Your point of view adds to this current scientific conversation. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's keep looking into and talking about the secrets of how dinosaurs evolved.